We've got some new information. The Human Trafficking Institute is rolling out its nationwide numbers for federal convictions in 2020. And 7 News reporter Kelsey O'Donnell breaks down the details for the state of South Carolina and tells us why it's important to be aware of what's happening around us. According to the Human Trafficking Institute, there are an estimated 24.9 million victims of human trafficking across the globe. And oftentimes it's a crime that happens in plain sight that may go unnoticed. The new study released this week found South Carolina reported two new criminal prosecutions of human trafficking filed in federal courts in 2020 compared to zero in 2019. A small increase, but the Institute says it's noteworthy. In the last eight or so years, we've seen sort of a steady incline in cases and enforcement in the federal system in South Carolina. The numbers focus solely on federal convictions, not including state prosecutions. According to the 2020 Federal Human Trafficking Report, there are seven new human trafficking defendants, resulting in a total of 16 people listed as active defendants across the state. 15 of those defendants are charged with sex trafficking, one with forced labor. This year, we noted in our report there were more sex trafficking prosecutions nationally in this year than there have been forced labor prosecutions in the last 20 years. So South Carolina sort of following suit all their new cases were sex trafficking cases. There are no federal convictions in South Carolina in 2020, showing decline in the annual numbers of both convictions and restitution orders allotted to the victims. And the victims are people of all ages. So that includes victims who are adults, and victims who are minors under the age of 18. And that makes a difference regarding what prosecutors have to prove at trial to convict a defendant. This new information is based on the numbers recorded a year prior. 2021 data is still being analyzed. There's something everyone can do to be more aware of human trafficking. Know the signs of exploitation and contact your local law enforcement if you think you've seen something. In Spartanburg, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. If you or someone that you know is a victim of human trafficking, visit WSPA.com for additional resources.